How's everyone doing? I want to uh, show you guys how to tune your stepper drivers properly because, uh, you know, especially if you have like a duet board and you're running, you know, small 40 millimeter steppers, or if you're running really big steppers off 2208s or 2209s, you know, the steppers come with uh, default hysteresis settings that are based for right around the middle of what they can put out. So if you have like an orbiter motor, you're really at the fringe edge which the motor runs real hot uh i've seen a difference of 20 degrees with an infrared thermometer based on how you set the uh, steris settings not to mention increases in maximum speed like tuning um my 0.9 steppers can make me be able to hit 600 millimeters a second at 25 to 35,000 excel before i skip a step meanwhile without them tuned i can't get over 15 to 20 k and 500 millimeters a second so without further ado i'm going to link all this stuff at the bottom uh actually i'll probably just make a post on my web page that shows it but i'm starting to put together a file on my repo that has um uh, you know values for different steppers that you use with the tmc calculator which i'll list a calculator for the 2208, 2209, 2160, uh, and 5160, uh, or 2660, I'm sorry, the duet ones and 5160. These are really set to run in stealth shop mode from the factory, which we don't want to run stealth shop, uh, but there's a article that I'm going to link to that explains about this stuff and the values you want to try to get close to. So what you do is like say uh, I'm running the standard temp 60 millimeter steppers on my Z. I mean, yeah, on my uh, X, Y, and Z, and I'm running a boost converter, so I'm sending 29 volts to them. So T blank default two one is honestly usually pretty good with the clock speeds you're on. Default is two for the blank time, and they have a 12 megahertz clock set in factory. Zero or one is recommended for most applications. So that's a perfect example of a value that is not great. And, but anyway, so the next is you start filling in your inductance. So three millihenries gets filled in as 0 0.003. And then the resistance of the coil, 1.4. And then the peak current that uh, it can take two which usually want to run like 80%. I'm running my Z's at 1.2 and I'm running my XY at 1.4. So so there you go, 1.98. So T off value, once again, four is usually pretty good, but anything between 10 and 20 on this, try to really stay 10 to 15. Um, usually it's pretty decent. And then now the next is the tricky part. So you need to know your sense resistor value, which is 2209 is 0 0.110. Or what you can do is you can go into Clipper and do a debug. So better example, I'll just show you. Do is you go over to the console, dump TMC stepper. Put in step you want, and then you're going to look for the current scaler. So, my current current scale is CS actual is eight because they were barely moving. So that's not uh, a full value. Stepper X. You want to make sure it's moving when you do this, or you set your hold current to uh hundred percent. Say CS actual is twenty five. Now, like I said, there's two ways you could go about this. One is you make sure you just get it to sense register value of 0 0.110, or you figure out what Clipper is using. See right there, it's using vSense 0. Sometimes if you're at the lower end, it could get a little confusing. Like, uh, but this can't even go high enough at 31 to get the other one. So you know it's using vSense 0. It's usually on lower values, like an orbiter extruder, where you may run into that, where you want to use vSense 1, true. But you can't configure that anymore. 
So anyway, so now that's out of the way. So this is showing us 34. Anything below 50 is okay. You really want to try to stay below like 40, but you want to definitely stay way above 20 because that's when it becomes audible. So I try to stay between 30 and like 45 tops. And that's how you're going to get the most the cleanest sine wave uh, and you won't start generating a lot of heat. Now to show you what I mean is, let's say we max out our blank time and we go crazy on our tee off see it'll become low and audible now so i'm going to go back to where i want it anyway And that's how you use that. I'm going to link this because this has a whole bunch of really good stuff that you can read. And uh, it just explains everything on how to tune the chopper. Uh, like literally how to tune it for low, medium, or high. And uh, just a, a bunch of good stuff. So... I will link that uh, below. Um, actually, I'm going to link to my website, and I'll have this video there. And then also, I'll put uh, these documents and any other links I can think of. But thanks for watching.